Hey y'all, Dr. Heavenly here. Thank y'all for clicking on the link um, to watch Heaven Help Us. Um, before I get started, again, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little blue bell so every time I do a video, it shows up. And make sure you leave a comment here. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this, okay? I am reviewing Married to Medicine, Episode 6, Season 1, Episode 6, Married to Medicine LA. All right, so let's jump right into it. Um, each of the ladies have their own dynamic. I think that this show is actually good. I've heard a lot of different reviews about it, but honestly, I think it's good. Um, because the people are so diverse. I mean, they're so very different. You got Jasmine, who is typical LA. She is, um, beautiful, um, fit, um, fashionable. You got, uh, Imani, who is, who's bold and beautiful. You got, um, Shanique, who is, I mean, we need them shady and beautiful. Um, who else? We got Dr. Noel. I really like Dr. Noel. I've grown to like her. And Britton. Britton is very, um, very good for the show, in my opinion. And we have Asha, who is an actress. Um, we're gonna start out. Um, I'm trying to keep this positive. I always do, I think. Um, let's jump right into it. Now we got into the other people's storyline, and I already told y'all Brit Britton, and I'm about sick of talking about her. Um, other than you know, I, I initially said there was no chemistry in their marriage. I'd have to take that back. I think her husband liked her. I mean, you know, I really think her husband want to be with her. That's why he's dealing with all of this with the kids and stuff like that. Because, like I said, the men don't want the kids. But um, her mind and body is somewhere else. Anyway, so anyway, Britton. Okay. Um, Noel. I don't know if we talked about her. But I'm going to jump into what I remember in the show was Imani. Last episode, we didn't get into her storyline as much about her father. I told y'all before, why bring this man back into your life? Um, it's been 30 years. Like I said, it had to be about 30 years. And he has not reached out to you. And then when you reach out to him, he says, let's think about it. Now, you know that man don't want to be bothered. Um, and he said, let's think about it. He don't want to rehash all the old feel. And you know what? I kind of understand. I ain't agreeing with him. I think if you got a child, you need to be more than a father to any child you have and be there for them. But I got to say, I can understand not wanting to rehash all the old feelings. And he probably feel bad. Ain't no way a man leave his child at 19, 11 years old and don't do nothing for him get on drugs, and don't think nothing about his child or feel bad. So he's come to grips with not being around, and he probably don't feel too bad because it's been 30 years. He don't want to rehash it, and then she got to ask him. You know how people do, why did you leave me? Why did you, you know, you, you was the drugs. And a lot of times, you know, I know I'm wrong for saying this. Men be with the women. Men be with the women they care about. When they don't care about the woman no more, that's when they move on. And the kids suffer. Because a lot of times, and I know people love their kids, but if they don't love their damn woman they with, they're not hanging around for the kids. A lot of times, most men will not. Especially old school dudes, because it wasn't required of them. How many men you know didn't stay around? You know, and the women accept any old damn thing. The man got kids outside. You know, your auntie is your cousin and all that down the street. He got three kids done. Old times, they did a lot. And I even told y'all the story before. When my, when my daddy died years and years ago, hell, he had other kids that we didn't even know about. And, you know, my mama knew. She 86. It was a different time. Women dealt with bull Swiss. Imani mama looked like she wasn't a type at that time or this time to deal with any bull Swiss. And she right. I like her mama. You know why? Because her mama kind of think like me in a way. I don't want to hear all this emotional stuff. It's stressing me out. It's tired, getting all upset about stuff. It ain't going to change. Why even bring it into your life? Why bring that energy into your life? Now, one thing I will say is I wouldn't reach out to my, have my daddy no, no damn more if I was Imani. I would not. But the sister, I would reach out to the sister simply because you said you had a good experience with her. Um, I would try with the sister to see if I can get a relationship if I needed it. Um, the sister, to me, I don't know why I got to be the one reaching out, but it looked like the daddy was there for the sister and just not her. And what I'm getting is if her sister was um, of a certain age, she probably a lot younger than her, maybe 30 and um, Imani's 41. Being that she's the younger sibling, I would reach out to her and see. Because, you know, people don't never know how you're going to be feeling. I don't even be trying to reach out to people because you never know how they're going to take you. And then you got to humble yourself. And it's just too much. I got enough over here. I got my three kids here. 
I got my dogs. I got my husband. We got. To, I can't bring no new energy and not know how people feel. And that's why I don't make a whole lot of friends. I can't make friends because I don't know. You know, you're dealing with all these insecurities. You don't know if a bitch just don't like you or they just insecure about themselves. I'm just an open person and I don't like no drama. So me, like Imani Mama, let's not bring that shit to our door because we don't need it. Okay. We don't need him and we don't need him. Okay. We don't need him, okay? We done live without him and his my mama done did well to raise this beautiful black queen. Tell me like half star falling out. That's why she bald headed now. It's beautiful. But don't let no man ruin your you know a man will tear your life up. How many people know that? A man will tear your life up if you allow him to. Look at I ain't even gonna name no names, but y'all know it. Eddie Monty look like mama look like the type she wasn't about that switch, that, that stuff. I'm trying not to cuss with y'all. But okay. Imani, leave the damn man alone. If he come back to you, I would even, even if he called me later and said, hey, I want to meet, I'd be skeptical to meet his ass then because all he going to do is disappear damn again. Now, but the sister I try with the sister, if she act funny, is one thing, but if she okay, we can actually have a relationship with the sister. All right, so Imani, your, your husband was right. Your mama right. Hopefully you listen to him. Don't bring that energy in. And you're beating a dead horse because the man, if it's been 30 years and he got to think about it, he ain't trying to be around you. Anyway, so um, what you call it having a party? Dr. Noelle, it's her 40th birthday. She look good. You know what? One thing I would say about black women, you can't tell how old they are. She could have been 30, 40, 50, not even good up. At, you just cannot tell a black woman's age. And she looks good. I mean, um, you just can't tell her age. Now, her husband look way older than her. I don't know what's going on with that. If he's 15, 20 years older than her. But we'll see about that later. But anyway, we did get to see him briefly again with a mask on. But, you know, I told y'all what I thought about that. Anyway. So, all right. So, um, who is it? Shanique. She decided that she need to apologize to Asha. Y'all know y'all asses was wrong for how y'all approach Asha. But, you know, this reality TV, that's all we have to do. Damn it. You could drag a damn man name for 10 months and say he cheating and shit. And all you got to do is say, you know what? I'm sorry. So, she gonna apologize. At least it wasn't 10 months, hell. You know what I'm saying? At least she didn't say she ever ceased for 10 months. But anyway, I ain't even going there. So, uh, she's gonna apologize. That's all we on reality TV require. And I guess we forgive you. If you apologize, hey, you said you was wrong. You was wrong. Let's move on. Let's move forward in a positive way. That's what we do. All right. So, and then, um, Imani, this was her episode. And I think she did a good job of carrying this episode. Imani is supposed to apologize to Jasmine for calling her house a drug dealer house. All right, Imani, we know you can do it. You're mature. You're a doctor. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. You're bold and you're confident. We know that you can come and apologize to Jasmine. Okay, so we get into the party. Did I forget something? I don't know. But anyway, we get to the party. Anyway, long story short, cute little party. They got their little dances. They from Chicago. So they got the Chicago side style party. This action, to me, honestly, I don't watch too many shows. But to me, this show is pretty good. I mean, y'all can say what y'all want to. They ain't gonna never be Atlanta, but this ain't Atlanta. So we comparing our apples to oranges. Party was nice, okay? And the next thing I remember was... um. Imani approaching Jasmine. And she was going over there to apologize. Now, mind you, her mama told her, we need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And you know what? I agree with her mama again because a lot of times when you got an audience, people show their ass. They show out. They say stuff that they wouldn't say to you woman to woman, one-on-one. -on -one. They just wouldn't. And you know um, what I've gathered, and I said this before, I didn't know uh, Jasmine's age, but she's still in her 20s. So I ain't saying she immature, but you know. Amani approaches Jasmine, apologizes, and says, hey, you know what, come with me. So her mama, you know what, and honestly, I don't have nothing bad to say about her mama. Her mama loved her child, don't get me wrong. But then it put you to mad Miss Lucy. They was going to gang up and beat her ass if she would have said the wrong thing. And then look, aunt they had looked like she was one of them old soul drinking women. I ain't trying to talk about nobody's family, but look like to me, had they said the wrong thing, the mom and the auntie was going to whoop her ass. That's why they came up there. That was a Miss Lucy Lake kind of thing for me. I don't know. But anyway, Jasmine got a lot of balls when her mama was standing right there. Well, no, I ain't going to accept your apology. And it was ignorant and this, that. Bitch, you know you heard that before about your husband. And where your husband at? Anyway, I'm just... If somebody is going to extend themselves, because on this show, on reality TV, we have to say shit. If I apologize, damn it, and you don't receive it, you know what? Toodles to you. Receive the girl apology. You actually owe her one as well, because you said some shit too. So my whole thing is, don't accept the apology, whatever, whatever. Okay. 
And I said I wasn't going to say whatever, whatever, but we don't give a damn about that. If you won't accept Imani, you did what you were supposed to do. You did what your mama told you to do. Even after she wouldn't go with you one-on-one, -on -one, you still extended yourself to listen. And you better than me. You were respectful to your elders. So kudos to you, Imani. You and my good graces, girl. You were respectful to you. Because there's a lot of shit you could have said, but you did not say. And I want to thank you for that. Thank you, him. Because, um, shit, if y'all want a real reality TV show, let the mama wear hell. You know, no, she could say it where she need to say it. And stay out of this, mama. Mama, y'all don't realize I'm a mama too. You know what I mean? Imani, I'm a... That's all I'm going to say about your mama. I ain't, I'm going to leave your mama out of it. Leave the mamas out of it. And then don't bring your drunk ass sister too. Because I'm not calling that lady drunk. I don't have no breathalyzer test. All I'm saying is that sister look like she was body body. The mama, sister, the auntie. Look like she was body body. And, and Imani don't look like she no lightweight bitch that you could just whip her ass. I think it was going to be something. But then, you know, Jasmine in, in, in the gym all the time. It ain't no telling she might have kicked the shit out of Imani. I don't know. But anyway, why am I thinking about fighting? Anyway, pray for me. Anyway, so we moving on to the, um, what they call her intuitive. Bitches, you a psychic. What is you? What are you? Because you're not saying I'm a prophetess and I come in the name of the Lord. I am an intuitive. We all have the power to be in, have the power of intuition. And I know I got a power of intuition. And my power is telling me you a fake ass psychic. You just made up some shit. You're drunk ass. She looked just drunk. I'm sorry, y'all. The lady looked drunk. I don't know where the hell y'all got her from overtown. Y'all ain't from Miami. Y'all got her from downtown, overtown, Miami, the hood, bankhead, whatever y'all want to call it. Y'all got this damn psychic. I don't even know how to well know her. But the bitch gonna say, um, well, uh, what's your name? Bitch, you tell me what is my name. You intuitive. Tell me what it's about. What's my name about? Sky, when the people, people meet me, they say your name is something different. What is? Tell me something before so I can put my trust in you. Now, you're telling, um, uh, I should what she want to hear about some damn twins, okay? And then she tried to fix it where one gonna come right after the other just in case it ain't no twins, damn it, because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about as a psychic. I'm gonna just tell this bitch what she want to hear because her friend had told me she want to have a baby. Her friend had told me about Jasmine. Now, I think Noelle, she might not have told her directly, but that lady knows somebody shit she was saying. I don't blame. One thing I would tell you this is, um, I told y'all they ain't had no chemistry, but I like, um, Britain. I do. I like Britain because Britain was like, well, bitch, let me, um, she thought about it before she even went off on the lady. She said, well, wait a minute. Let me try to, you got a wall up. Okay, bitch. Um, what's my wall? And you need to de determine how you be in judgment. Judgment. <sighs> how did, uh, lady, don't get cursed out up in here. What's the intuitive name? I wish I know that bitch name. I'm going to go back and look for her name. So I, next time I do my blog, I can talk all about this damn psychic drunk ass woman. She was hilarious to me. When she started spreading this shit, I would have been so offended. First of all, you not of God. You're not saying you a prophetess. You're saying you're an intuitive. And like Jasmine say, we stay away from Sue says and all that kind of shit. We tried it on Mary the Medicine. We went to the damn that's what they was doing the um voodoo and shit. To me, all that shit go together. The voodoo, the psychic, the horoscope, and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you not of God, and you can say that was your GPS, your God, whatever. But um, honey, you was not of God. Not the way you was coming and <laughs> and I ain't mad at the cussing, but you spraying the shit and pissing everybody off. And then Britain leaves. Which Britain should have done. I would have probably cursed the app. Probably I, you know, I ain't right, you know. But Britain did the right thing. You're going to tell me about myself and you don't even know me, bitch. And it's obvious that you don't. What's your name? Bitch, you tell me. Um, You got a wall. What's the wall about? You tell me. You the intuitive. You trying to tell me something about my damn life and you don't know nothing? Okay. Enough about Britain and it's, it's the bitch switched to um Jasmine. Jasmine, what's your husband name? None of your goddamn business. That's what she said in so many words. That's what she wanted to say. Um... So, it says something about you and I need you and your husband because it's one. Can you give me a name? No, I'm not. I'm not. Well, I don't want to put this on the table. So, so don't. And I bet you, you know, they was like, it's the end or whatever. And we got, we got to be continued. Wait a minute. To be continued. I bet you she put it on the table because that's what she came there to do because that's what they hired her to do. Asha and whoever hired her. Um, Brit or Noel or whatever. Don't put it on the table. If you don't want to put it on the table, don't put it on the table. Get you another drink, you drunk ass, and go on about your business and leave these people alone. Who, who 
hired this damn intuitive. Don't want to call her ass a psyche trying to say something about, mm-mm, mm-mm. And first of all, why she had to look like a drunk? I don't know. You know, I know a lot of drunk people based on where I'm coming. She probably from where I'm from. Shit, I'm an intuitive too. And an intuitive is telling me uh, that this bitch full of sh This woman. I'm going to stop cussing. Mm, this woman is full of crap, okay? Crap. Excuse my French. Crap, okay? Anyway, they said to be continued. Whatever. I mean, you know, it was a good show. What can I say? Y'all see my blogs don't be long enough, but hell, they long enough for me. Yeah, like I got everything I know. Jasmine. Jasmine, you're beautiful. Don't be worried about what people say about your man. Oh, I need some lipstick. Imani, you're beautiful. Leave that damn daddy alone. That's a recap. Leave the damn daddy alone. He don't want you to. He don't want to be bothered. It's been 30 years, bitch. What you think? It's going to happen after 30 years. Shanique, Shanique actually did good today. And I and I feel, and I saw little um, Robert, too. He looked nice. Okay, so um, Shanique did good. She want to apologize. I guess we'll see that next week and see if... um. Asha accepts her apology, which Asha the kind of chick, she kind of, you know, she's going to accept it. She's not going to do it, Jasmine. She's going to accept the apology. Um, Noelle, Noelle is good. It's her birthday. It's 40th birthday. She put on a good party. Britain, I really like Britain. I like her husband. They just not into each other. But um, Asha, I already talked about Asha. Any money? That's it. That's all I got. What y'all want to talk about now? Some relationship questions? Okay. Guys. Make sure you send me your relationship questions. I'm at drhemley.com on Instagram, Facebook, at dr underscore heavenly. Make sure you tell your friends about our blog because we can really get into some relationships. That's what I know. Um, and if y'all got dental questions, hell, I could do a blog about that. But I just think it, I, it's interesting to me. But I didn't think it would be that interesting to a lot of people to talk about dentistry. I love dentistry. A lot of people look at my work and say, well, why does this look like this? Why does this look like this? It depends. I can make your whole mouth over and make it perfect if you got the money. But a lot of times we may have to shift that jaw back to make it right. Some people have deep bites, old bites. So we do what we can to make you look really, really good, much better. But in order to make it perfect, you got to spend a dollar. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, why do you do the top teeth and not the bottom? Money. I'd love to do the bottom. I'd love to do the bottom. A lot of people want the top and they feel like you can't really see the bottom anyway which I can because I guess I'm looking, but a lot of people will start with the top and sometimes, most times, a lot of times they will come back for the bottom. But enough about dentistry. What's going on in current events? They say that Jesse Molette is going to go back to, um, they're going to have a hearing. I don't know why they keep messing with that boy. Leave him alone. Hell, he did whatever he did, whatever he didn't do. Leave him alone. Y'all spending time and money. There's so much, so many other things we could be talking about other than him. Whether he did, he got a sandwich. And, uh, I mean, I get hungry at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, to go get a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? That ain't just totally unheard of. It's Subway open. If it's open, then I'm sure other people get hungry for a sandwich. Or it wouldn't even be damn open. Long story short, leave Jesse alone. Let me let him come back on Empire. I know it had to increase their um, viewership, you know, their ratings. So leave the man alone. Anyway, what else going on in the world? Um, I can't think of nothing. Um, uh, Anyway. All right, so make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow me. And um, I'll be back next week. And tomorrow, I'm going to try to go live and do some relationship uh, uh, advice live. Okay? Dr. Heavenly, see you next time.